guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a chance to uh, watch the video where I announced the winners of the giveaway that I was hosting last week. Yeah, I had two winners. So please run on over and watch that video, okay? All right, and please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, you guys. Turn on your notifications. Um, follow me on Instagram because you never know when I'm going to host another giveaway. These are so, so fun and just a way to give back to you guys because you are awesome star fires, okay? All right, you guys, so today I thought it'd be really cool to go ahead and show you guys my empty trash, okay? <laughs> that just doesn't sound good, huh? But anyways, I thought it'd be good to just go ahead and show you guys the products that I've been able to use up. You're always seeing me do hauls. You're always seeing me do collection videos. Well, now you get to see what I'm actually using because I believe in um, keeping th some things for, you know, collections purposes and things like that. But then I want to use my stuff, you guys, and I can give you some tips on how to get through more of your products and things like that. So stay tuned for that at the end of this video. So here's um, my little bin that has everything I've been able to use up. Now keep in mind, this is from June and July so far. So I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out to you guys. I usually um, wait and let it build up for at least three months or so um, and then show you my empties. So um, it's building up. So I wanted to go ahead and get that video out to you. And then let's see, we're in July. I probably won't do another one until maybe September or even October. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you the products that I've been able to use up obviously from Bath and Body Works. And, uh, I'm also going to let you know if I would repurchase this item. So yeah, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first item is this white water brush, two-in-one hair and body wash for men. Um, my sons use up a ton of shower gel. Like, they're getting through these awfully quickly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but they use them to wash their hands sometimes too. And then my husband uses it too. So they're using all of these up and they are going quickly, you guys. I thought we went through the hand soaps fast, but we go through shower gels pretty quickly around here too. So that's White Water Rush. And they pretty much like any of these uh, masculine scents. This is Fresh White Water, Aromatic Bergamot, and White Cedar. Um, their fave is Ocean though, but I was trying to get them things that were a little different from Ocean so that they could step outside their box and try something new. And so yeah, I would definitely uh, purchase that again. Why not? Okay, and like I said, um, for the men in my family, they love Ocean the best. And this is a two-in-one hair and body wash. They were able to finish this one up. And uh, this one, let's see, is fresh cypress, really cypress, fresh cypress vetiver and cool ocean air. And so they like this one, nice and masculine, salty ocean air scent. So yeah. The next one that they were able to use up is Alpine Suede 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash for men. Okay. And this is Crisp Alpine Air wild vetiver and warm mountain suede so they like this one as well and then my husband was able to use up his co bigelow new york city bergamot amber cologne mist and then to be honest you guys um you know he's taking a page out of my book and he was using this you know all the time everywhere and even in the bathroom but anyhow <laughs> So yeah, and then everyone was, my well, you know, my sons were using it too. So yeah, they were able to all just finish this one up. Okay, so I think that's all of the men's products. And so we'll start with um, Best Day Raspberry Sorbet Creamy Luxe Hand Soap with Silk Proteins. This was bright raspberries, crisp apple and watermelon slices. Mm, and it smells so good. Just like basically raspberries and berries. It was a, like a cool fruit scent. And I just adore the pictures on these on this new collection. They're just so, so cute. And once again, that's Best Day Raspberry Sorbet. So, um, and I would definitely, as a matter of fact, I'm definitely going to pick up more um, of these. 
We also used up Life is Sweet Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Ugh, I wanted to save and hold on to these, but we're just getting through these. Um, so yeah, I will actually definitely buy more. You guys know that I love the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This one's missing a top, but hey, it's going in the garbage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And this was Marshmallow Fluff Vanilla Bean and Creamy Caramel. Mmm. It just smells like vanilla ice cream on a cone with sprinkles. It just smells really, really good. Um, I love this every time they bring this out. Ooh, hair is getting a little messed up. Every time they bring this out, like I truly love this scent. So it's always a fave. So you guys know, I'll definitely pick up more. Okay, this is Best Day Raspberry Sorbet, but in the gentle foaming hand soap. We got through this one. And so, like I said, it smells like the raspberries and berries. A nice, cool scent. Mmm, smells so good. And the picture is different on the foaming one um, than the creamy luxe one. So, yeah, they're just so cute and perfect for summer. Okay, the next item, and this is such cute packaging. This is You Shine Bright Strawberry Lemon. I just love the pop art design on here. So this was strawberries or sweet strawberries, sparkling lemon and crystallized sugar. And it smells like strawberry lemonade. Mm. Oh, and it's still really strong, the bottle itself with that scent smells so good. It makes me want some strawberry lemonade with extra ice. Oh my goodness. I'm one of those people where no matter what drinks I get, I have to load it up with extra ice. Like, I love ice. You guys know that. So, yeah, I definitely, um, if I find this one, I will definitely get that one as well, too. You guys can't say our hands aren't clean because we get through a ton of soap. <laughs> okay, so this is Cucumber Melon Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Now, this has vitamins A, B, plus E. It was crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, and juicy cantaloupe. And it smells just like that. Cucumbers, melon, ugh, fresh summer fruits. Mmm. And this one was actually really crisp and refreshing too because of that cucumber. So yeah. And anytime you put lemons in your kitchen, it just fits. It just goes well. So this was a scent that we had in our kitchen. It's sunshine and lemons and it smells so good. This is sparkling yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays. Like I said, I like to put lemon scents in the kitchen. It just makes your kitchen smell so fresh and so clean. And so yeah, that's the Creamy Lux version. And then this is fresh lemonade in the gentle foaming hand soap. This one is lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. And it smells like a straight up lemonade. And get that lid off of there. Mmm. This, I enjoyed this one um, better than the, uh, the strawberry lemonade, actually, though, because this lemonade, I think, is just more prevalent, and it's actually the type of lemon scent that is a drinkable scent, like a sugary, you know, drinkable scent, um, rather than the type of, you know, lemon for a cleanser. Um, but both were really good, but I would prefer to just, you know, smell this one, but they're both really good. So yeah, we use this one up. And our family loves going to the lake, um, you know, because I mentioned that before. In Oklahoma, we're landlocked. We have a huge, huge lake out here. Um, and so like a major lake um, in our small town. So we always just get out to the lake. That's the closest I'm getting to the beach, you know what I mean? And I'm originally from California, so I'm always missing the beach. Like there's beaches everywhere in California. Yay, there's my California vineyard candle back there. So yeah, you know, I'm just thinking, okay, well, we can just go to the lake then. So yeah, you can't get to the beach, get to a lake if you happen to be in a state that is landlocked. <laughs> okay, so this is Lakeside Afternoon. This is sun-soaked lavender. Oh, I didn't know that this had lavender in it. Dockside breeze and fresh rain. Mm. Mm. And it smells really good, but I didn't really pick up lavender. But now that, you know, I've mentioned, you know, the keynote now, I'm smelling it. But um, I just always smelt like a crisp, outdoorsy sort of scent. So this is really good. We finished that up. Lakeside afternoon. And look at that picture. It is gorgeous, you guys. 
so yeah okay I did finish up some mad about you this is shower gel and I always love the packaging on mad about you I'm so glad they haven't changed it okay so this was uh, black currant bright peony and pink jasmine kissed with white patchouli and vanilla musk and this is so fun and playful and so girly to me as a scent um, it's like candy and flowers Mmm, and it always smells so good. Mmm, smells so good. And this usually makes an appearance um, during semi-annual sales, so yeah. Okay, I've also used up Pink Chiffon Shower Gel. This whimsical scent is a delicate blend of sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, and tiara flower whisked with vanilla orchid and chiffon musk. It smells like flowers and soft musk. It's really sweet. It is very feminine and very flirty but soft and youthful um, that's what I've always loved about pink chiffon and at the semi-annual sale uh, these were going for three dollars you guys and then with like you know your coupons and savings like I was able to get these for like two bucks or something like that so yeah pretty good okay I was also able to use up the aqua burst body wash and this was just the travel size so it didn't really take long to you know get through and this is not really uh, scented if you're looking for something that doesn't have much of a scent um, and these may actually still be out if you have stores that still have some semi annual sale items now this one um, like I said it didn't really have much of a scent but it was nice it was nice and creamy and almost like a crisp salty ocean air if it had any scent then that's more of what it would be and this would be great um, even to use if you had you know like for your husband or your sons if they didn't want anything that was too girly or anything because it's just sort of almost unscented so if you like that I think this would be great for you but I think I need more of a scent more of a feminine kind of like a pretty scent um, but yeah, this was really nice. I enjoyed it and it lathered really well and it felt really well too. However, in all honesty, I don't think I would repurchase this because it just doesn't wow me. Um, the packaging is not cute to me. Um, there's no like fun or girly or pretty or beautiful scent about it. Um, it's not something that I'm going to say, oh my goodness, I need to run back to the store and get more of these. No. So of everything that I have mentioned, um, so far, this is probably one of those things that you just use it, enjoy it, and you don't care if you ever see it again. Okay. Now the last item is actually from Victoria's Secret. Okay. So I finally used up <laughs> my fragrance mist in the scent Gorgeous. And this is a beautiful sort of floral musky scent the packaging is so pretty yeah and it's just so sophisticated and nice and I believe I'm not sure but I believe I saw this at semi-annual sale or at least in the body cream I'm not sure but yeah um, I've had this for some years though and I finally was able to get through it so yeah <laughs> that was fun I think in a past um, I think in a past empties video I was able to get through the lotion so this time it's the fragrance mist so yeah and then my bucket is empty you guys now I do obviously have other empties that have nothing to do with Bath and Body Works like beauty and other cleansers and you know kitchen products and all that sort of thing so yeah but I didn't include that in this one because I thought you guys would be mostly interested in how I'm going through my Bath and Body Works stash now I'm gonna give you guys my tips on getting through these products if you just want to collect and collect that's fine but if you want to collect and use some and enjoy some of your collection, you have to be the type of person that pretty much, you know, your Bath and Body Works collection is what you use. If you use a ton of other stuff, which is fine, um, then it's going to be hard to dwindle down your um, Bath and Body Works stuff. So just keep that in mind. And I don't really use a ton of outside products. I do use um, Caress and Suave because I have to say caress is amazing it's like whoo it is I love it um, so I use those brands too 
Um, but pretty much that's about it. So it's easy for me to, you know, go through my products. And then also, I do not like germs. I like people that keep themselves as clean as possible, their hands and nails, you know, clean and everything. So I buy a ton of soap and I go through a lot of soap and I constantly, constantly wash my hands throughout the day. That's how you cut down on, you know, getting sick and passing germs, um, pre preparing food and everything. You just need to be, I'm a stickler about people being clean and neat, especially when it comes to their fingers and their hands to the best of your ability. Just, it's so easy to wash, you know, and there's a ton of fun fragrance soaps that you can use and just have fun with it at the sinks in your house. So yeah, and then I have to make sure I stay on my boys. Cause you know boys are always in the dirt, always want to catch insects and all outside ripping and running as my dad would say. <laughs> but you know, so I have to stay on them to constantly wash their hands too. So yeah, um, so that so that tip to you would be to, you know, if if you happen to be a clean freak, it's gonna be easy to get through your soap. So yeah. Um, and then another thing with the fragrance mist you've got to spray them on more than just yourself start with your hair that's what i do i spritz up here and then you know your pulse points and everything and obviously on your body your clothing but i take it a step further i spray my blinds pillows comforters faux flowers around through the house um air fresheners and another good place is if you have you know you have your dresser drawers you can pull them out and you can um, spritz some cards get some index cards and just spritz the back of them and lay them in your lingerie drawers and when you pull out your drawers oh you get hit with that nice fragrance you can do that i mean you can just spritz it around in there and spray in your closet. I spritz the inside of my purses and things like that. So that's how I'm able to get through so much of the fragrance mist, which I know is hard for people to get through. <laughs> so yeah. And then with the creams, well, you know, as much as I'm washing my hands, I'm also moisturizing again. So I get through my creams and lotions that way um, and things like that. So yeah. And uh I like my husband he you know is like oh my gosh you take like one two three showers a day so I can get through these products you guys now you want to know the thing that is the hardest for me to use up and that's candles I don't really like to use them down so much because then when the scent is gone I'm like oh, okay I kind of wanted to enjoy that again so that's why I know you can buy backups and stuff like that but there's some that I don't have backups to and I just won't burn them because it's the only one I have so you know you you will probably see less candle empties from me um, just because I may burn it one time and then move on to something else because there's so many options so yeah <laughs> so that's like the hardest thing for me to get through I am making a conscious effort to burn through more of my candles and enjoy them more by way of using them rather than just admiring them but I'm still always going to have some that are just for collection and then some that are just for burning and things like that so especially as we go into fall but then you guys you know what I end up enjoying candles more and burning them more in the summertime hmm. <laughs> um so yeah but i'm excited about all these fall candles that are coming now they are gorgeous the labels are amazing and i am like i'm ready to get them but i'm not ready necessarily for fall i'm still enjoying summer summer is amazing so yeah Anyhow, you guys, I hope those tips um, work for you. I always get in the comment section, you guys are always like, how do you get through so much? Or what are you doing to get through your products? Well, that's it. Or that's at least some of the ways that I, you know, get through products. And then also, too, um, my daughters use my products, too. So you can always share your products with other people in your family um, or give them as gifts. That's a way to dwindle down your stash as well. Okay, you guys, I have enjoyed this time with you. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, Starfires.